Hello Aquarius and welcome to your Venus and Mars love tarot reading. This reading will cover the time frame of June 27th through August 15th, 2021. Now Venus just moved in to Leo on the 27th of June and she has joined Mars. Mars is already in the sign of Leo. So um, from about June 27th to about July 21st is a time of a lot of flirting, a lot of passion, a lot of chemistry, just really feeling the vibes, feeling romantic, feeling passionate. And then um, Venus is going to move in to the sign of Virgo on the 22nd of July, and then Mars is going to follow her on the 29th of July. So Venus and Mars are having this little chase and dance and reunion um, from June 27th through August 15th. So let's get in Aquarius and see how this is impacting you specifically. We're going to pull a chakra card for the Venus energy and then a chakra card for the Mars energy between now and August 15th. All right, wow. Venus is bringing you major clarity at the soul level, Aquarius. Um, Okay, this is just a side message, very clear. Spirit is saying this is a side message. This this message right here is not going to apply to everybody, but I have to get it out. Some of you have really been thinking about a specific person. And some of you, this person may have uh, walked away from you. And in other situations, you walked away from this person. Apply it how it fits. And you've been going back and forth, back and forth in your mind and in your heart about this person. Um, in a lot of ways, you feel like, yes, this is somebody that I'm supposed to be with. But then in other ways, you see all the reasons why this shouldn't be the person. And you've been going back and forth, back and forth. And you are about to receive utter clarity from Venus on whether you and this person are meant to be or not meant to be. You're gonna finally decide within yourself, okay? And we'll pull more cards to see if you and this person are gonna be talking, but the message is, Spirit is saying, you're finally gonna be at peace with this. Those of you that have really been back and forth, back and forth about a specific person, okay? Now, for the rest of you, um, you're getting very clear about what you want and you're seeing, um, I feel like committed couples, like you're seeing your partner through new eyes. This is going to a new level, um, rising to a new perception. Wow, Venus is enlightening you guys about your emotions, your romantic uh, situations of past, of present. And you are getting very clear within yourself where I feel it's been a bit muddy. All right, wow, look at this. Mars is bringing communication throat chakra. And so you have a third eye, you have throat chakra. Third eye right here, right? That's where the third eye is. And look at you and another person are telepathically communicating, Aquarius. And that's why that opening message was so strong. And I feel, okay, there's like three different ways I need to go with this. So those of you that have really been back and forth about a specific person, they are also back and forth about you. And um, even though you may have not been speaking in the physical, you guys are communicating telepathically. You are meeting on the astral plane. You feel their energy. They feel your energy. All right. Um, that's why it's so heavy on you. It's just as heavy on them. Now, some of you out there, that doesn't apply at all. And you're single and you're getting very clear. And you and your next romantic relationship, you guys are starting to communicate with each other telepathically, as well as meeting on the astral. Your souls are already in communication, are already in union with each other. And you're starting to get clear, like your thoughts, your emotions about um, what you want out of a relationship or who you want to be with is going to shift as you and the soulmate move closer and closer and closer together and then finally meeting in the physical realm. Those of you in committed relationships, you and your partner are getting very much on the same page, uh, very focused with each other, um, going deeper with each other. Like there's a spiritual awakening expansion that's taking place within your union. Oh, 
Aquarius. Oh my goodness. All right, let's pull some more cards. And there's communication. Like, it's time to share heart and soul, okay? Uh, couples, you guys are going to just have these deeper conversations kind of out of nowhere. And it could be about your relationship. It could be about life, the universe, spirituality, different for all of you. Those in separation, I do see a conversation, something happening between now and August 15th. serious relationship look at that we're getting very clear <clears throat> about who and what we want or any confusion of the past oh look at that old flame okay <clears throat> so that's why that message was so strong um, out of all the reads that didn't I didn't have to do a side message like that um, because wow Aquarius a lot of you this is like somebody that you're separated from old flame um you were in a serious relationship with this person in the past okay those of you where it's like this person you're back and forth in your mind and your heart about you guys both think about each other equally and i feel um you this is like you guys are gonna talk again this um it's not about you know just coming to peace i see that but man, communication with an old flame right there and understanding your past serious relationship with them. Now, um, singles out there that, you know, it's like, no, I'm not confused about anybody from my past. Um, I feel like somebody from the past is coming back in. Um, okay, okay. This here, uh, if this is a brand new person to you, this is why you guys are already having this telepathic communication. Old flame, past life. This was like a very serious romantic connection in a past life for you. And it's going to be intense. Like it's going to be at the soul. It's almost as though you'll read each other's energy, thoughts, emotions, like right from the start. And it may take you guys, um, take you both a little by surprise that you're just so easily able to feel into each other's energy and get each other like that. Now, um, committed couples, this to me is a very beautiful spiritual awakening. And like when you first fell in love, like you guys, it's an energy like that. But this is like uh, uh, falling in love at the soul again. It, it's very spiritual for you guys. Um, but the strongest message for sure is a reunitement from somebody from the past. Even you singles out there, there could be somebody coming back from the past that you just haven't even thought about. And boom, here they are like, hey, Aquarius. So let's pull some more cards. Nine of Cups. Oh, Aquarius, I'm telling you, this person thinks of you and wishes at least to just talk to you or to have closure. Um, maybe, you know, definitely could want to get back into like a deep connection with you. But at the very least, it's like I just wish there was peace, there was harmony, there was flow, there was clarity, there was understanding um, between the two of you. All right, over here with Mars, look at that healing. And um, here, he's sleeping on the astral. You know, um, you're having dreams of them. They're having dreams of you. And like uh, Five of Pentacles, like I want to overcome what separated us in the past, the rejection of the past. I want to heal that energy. So um, you guys that are back and forth in your head and your heart about somebody, they are definitely feeling the same thing you are. You guys both dream of each other. Um, you guys telepathically communicate with each other. You are not far away energetically, even though physically you may be miles apart right now. Like you guys are very much connected at the soul still and very much in communication with each other. Um, and they want to come back in. I feel like 
for all you singles out there, whether you're missing somebody or not, I really see somebody from the past trying to come back in. And um, if this isn't somebody from this past, in this life, it's somebody from a past life. And you guys are just going to like pick up where you left off. Like all of the intensity, the attraction, the, the deeper connection is just already there from day one. And those of you in committed relationships, it's a beautiful time. It's There's a spiritual awakening happening here between the two of you. So let's pull some cards and see specifically what's going on as Venus and Mars move through the sign of Leo and then what's specifically going on as they move through the sign of Virgo. Yeah, it's like Aquarius, you're on my mind, you're on my heart, I'm thinking of you. I want to talk to you. There's a flame that still burns within for you. And you feel the same about them. All right, so we've got supportive for the Leo energy. And we've got possessive for the Virgo energy. Um, hmm, and look at this, power couple. Aquarius. You guys in committed relationships, um, there's something that is clicking in your head, clicking in them, like happening. And it's like we're, it's not to say you guys weren't, you know, in love and all of that before. But man, it's like at the soul, there's this beautiful expansion and you guys are blossoming into something else. And um, you both are switching into an energy of I will fight for this relationship I don't want to let it go and it's not to say you weren't that way before but this is a different energy um I kind of feel like maybe you weren't feeling super supported in the past or there was some sort of imbalance going on here um between you and your partner and it's like you guys are getting on the same page there's this awakening at the soul and it pulls you both very back into being focused on each other and this connection and nurturing your love and growing your love. And now those of you uh, where somebody's coming back from the past, it's like you're mine, Aquarius. I don't want anybody to have you. I will be the person you need me to be this time around. Okay, like they don't want to let you go. They want to fight for this. Um, or this could go the other way around. You could be having this epiphany and you're like, you know what? I want to fight for this relationship. I should have never walked away from them. You know, it could truly go either way just to play it how it fits. Um, and singles where this is somebody brand new, they're not brand new to the soul. They might be brand new to the physical you this lifetime, but they are um, not brand new to your soul. And it's like right away, you guys are like, hey, let's be exclusive, both of you, with that possessive card. All right, let's pull some more uh, cards here. Wow. I feel like the two are in this pile here. Oh, right, right there. Okay, yeah, look at this. Committed couples, you guys are really getting on the same page, but also those of you um, where somebody's coming back from the past, they want to make up for what was wrong, for what they did wrong. Or Aquarius, you really coming to a place where you're like, man, that was the one that got away. Like, what was I thinking? And it, you're in a space of, I'll do whatever it takes for that. Oh, yeah, because look at the Empress. Mm -hmm. You are the prize to them or they are the prize to you, the one that got away. Um, just depending on whoever walked away from this connection initially, um, or if you both just kind of decided, you know what, this isn't working mutually, it's like you both are now looking back and being like, oh my gosh, that's the one that got away from me, okay? And um, the new, those of you where this is now somebody from the past coming in, this is new, yeah, you guys are absolutely soulmates. And with the Empress coming out in this power couple, um, this is a very long-term relationship. This is not somebody who's just going to roll in and then roll out of your life. This is long-term. You know, if not, you're one right there. Like, this is definitely a very long-term soulmate that's meant to be in your life. And coupled Aquarius, I just see you both really fighting for your relationship. And 
remembering um, a part of you and it just like of like when you first fell in love when you first came together and it facilitates this uh, spiritual awakening within both of you and it's like overcoming and expanding into the next beautiful version of which you guys are meant to be in this life journey um, with your love so let's pull some more cards wow Aquarius look at you it's like I'm thinking about you you are still on my heart and mind Aquarius they cannot stop thinking about you. That is the strongest storyline out of all of them, is this person returning from the past. Like, just right from the opening. Oh, yeah, look at that. The attraction, your energies are pulling you guys back together. Ooh, because we don't want to be free from each other. And a divine feminine. We're in tune with our emotional body. Venus bringing that clarity. Yeah, Aquarius, um, if they walked away from you, they are definitely looking back at you as the one that got away and it's like, I don't want my freedom. I want to be connected to Aquarius. I want to grow. I want to build a future with Aquarius. Um, and somebody new coming in right away, it's like, let's be committed let's be exclusive because you really feel each other deeply you're soulmates from a past lifetime and there's just no escaping that no denying that and the law of attraction pulling you guys together at the perfect time for your destiny this life journey committed couples i really feel like there was some sort of challenge, some heaviness, and it kind of um, put some distance, some maybe emotional separation. You guys are overcoming that and are going to be closer than you ever have been, okay? And it's of a higher level spiritually that this is taking place, and the past is the past. Um, but yeah, strongest thing, Aquarius, is you and somebody from the past. You both desire each other. You're dreaming of each other. You're telepathically communicating. You find that like at times out of nowhere, um, they just pop into your head and it's like you're having this conversation with them or you're having this random memory um, that you shared with them and you're like, wow, that was random. Where'd that come from? It's because that's their energy projecting towards you. And when you're thinking of them, the same thing happens to them. They feel you. They have a thought about you and you guys have these conversations with each other and when you meet on the astral you don't always remember these dreams but when you wake up it's like you feel their presence all around you in your energy and it's because you guys you know were together uh your consciousnesses were together while your physical body was rejuvenating and uh wow this is such a deep connection those of you where this is a past person holy cow all right let's uh Let's pull one final card here, Aquarius. Okay, there is the artwork. And it says, freedom, there is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. Okay, so we've got this freedom twice. And I can see within this reading, like, I don't want to be free. I want to be together. And so couples... Whatever was going on in the past that may have like created some emotional distance, it's going to shift and change and you guys are now fighting for this connection once again and you are going to be stronger and closer than ever before. And uh, singles, you know, those of you where this is somebody coming back in the past, it's like one of you really just could not fully commit is what I'm getting with this. And that was the main problem here. And that is not going to be an issue anymore because whoever was you know struggling to commit they're looking back and saying wow you are the one that got away from me like what was i thinking and um those of you where this is new love soulmate from the past you both um really enjoy your freedom here and maybe thought you know uh relationships overrated love overrated who cares about it and then you guys come together and you're like wow you are my soulmate. Um, I don't want my freedom. I want to be in a committed relationship. And see, there's nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. That's such a powerful message. Um, especially, you know, for those of you where somebody's coming back in, it's like finally 
deciding, both of you deciding within yourselves, yes, I want you, let's make this work. So those are your messages, Aquarius. I am sending you lots of love and light. Take care.